Hi, my name is Michelle. This is Actuarial, my actuarial YouTube channel, and I am three and a half months in to a six month sabbatical on my actuarial job. Big news to me, probably less exciting to you, but when I go back to my job, I'm gonna be in a different role, which is big news to me because I hate change. So today I'm sitting around to discuss where I came from, where I'm going, a whole actuarial journey update for 2023 and announce to you what I'm going to be doing since I'm not going to be a pricing actuary anymore. For those who don't know, I started working full-time as an actuary in 2015 back in Montreal. I was working in a data analyst kind of role, which side note, I think is an excellent place for actuaries to start. I got a DM a little bit ago from someone saying they got offered a job as a data analyst kind of role in an actuarial company, which is what I did. And they were wondering if this was a good thing or if they should look for a different kind of role. And honestly, I think data analysis is a super great place to start. It's what I started with and I recommend it. Why? Because learning how to manipulate data, learning how to analyze data is just so important for your technical skills, like the actual coding manipulation, but also the critical thinking skills and also getting overviews of what statistics are important. I think that's really good. I did that for two and a half years, which is a little short in terms of how long someone would stay in their first role. Generally, people will stay about three years in a role. But I switched from that actuarial role in a data analysis team to a more traditional actuarial role as a pricing actuary, personalized pricing. So coming up with prices for car and home insurance. I did this for the last five and a half years. I love pricing. I think it's so much fun because you can really see the impact of what you're doing. I do an analysis, I make a proposal, I change the prices, the prices that customers are being charged changes. I can see the change to the mix of business. If we raise prices for young drivers, we can see that we stop selling as much. If I lower prices for red cars, then red cars start coming in the door. I loved pricing because I could do everything from start to finish from analysis and idea to implementation and monitoring and everything in between. I loved working with personal lines, meaning car and home insurance, because it was lots of homogenous data. You can do a lot of cool data analysis because you've got lots of cars that are obviously different, but lots of similar characteristics that you can group cars together in lots of fun little segments. I stayed there for five and a half years, which is long considering I said earlier that usually people stay in a role for about three years at my company. I stayed for a couple of reasons. One, I hate change. <laughs> Two, the panorama. I didn't really want to be changing roles when we were stuck at home indoors doing nothing. And it was my comfort zone. I was getting good at it. I was the most experienced person on my team and I was really well respected. I am really well respected. People come to me with their questions, even though I'm not always the nicest when people come to me with questions. I'm often a very blunt and um, curt, short with people. When they ask me questions, I don't like it when random people ask me questions. It's a bad habit. I need to learn to be nicer at work so that people uh, will be nice to me. But anyway, <laughs> taking this six months sabbatical was something that I absolutely needed to do for my mental health. It is the best thing ever. If you can afford to do it, do it. Whether it's immediately after high school, taking a gap year before university, taking a gap year after university, taking a gap year during university, or like me, eight years into working, you want to take six months off, I recommend it. But it was also a good time to switch roles. All my projects were closed off or transferred before I left. And I've been in that role for a long time. I really haven't been growing in that role for a long time. Sure, I learned a couple new things, but I was pretty stagnant and comfortable in my career. I didn't line up a role to come back to before I left. There were some people in my company who wanted me to secure what team I'd be going to, but I didn't really care. It's not that I didn't care, it's that I don't feel passionately about any one team. I didn't really feel like this is what I want to do. I just knew mm, it's probably a good time to experience change, even though I hate change. But this week I got a text from my old pricing boss and he said that they figured out what role I'm gonna be taking in July when I go back to work five days a week. It's possible, I guess, that they change their minds in the next two and a half months. But for now, I'm gonna be doing specialty line reserving. Switching from pricing to reserving, the two bread and butter kind of concepts of actuarial work, figuring out what the claim liabilities for the insurance company are, figuring out how much money we owe on claims for a certain line of business, specifically specialty lines. 
And specialty lines is something that I don't know anything about, but in my imagination, and we're gonna we're gonna use our imagination because I have not spoken to anyone, I haven't told anyone my thoughts. This is just what's bubbling in my head. Car insurance, lots of homogenous data with a bunch of smaller claims. Specialty lines. My understanding, it's like commercial insurance, but super specialized. Like the parts of business insurance that are so niche that you can't just lump it all together. You have to specialize in it. It's all in my imagination. So in this world, I'm assuming it's not homogenous, not lots of small claims. It's going to be rare, big claims. It's going to be lines of business that I am entirely unfamiliar with. It's going to be reserving instead of pricing, which I think is a lot of fun. From my outsider perspective, pricing was more project-based. Pricing was more dynamic and you did a bunch of different things. Whereas reserving, while there are different kinds of projects we can work on, there is more of a cyclical element to it. You have your month ends, your quarter ends, your year ends, because these are financial reserves that need to be put in the financial system because this impacts the financial status of the insurance company. I don't know business word. I'm honestly really excited. <laughs> I hate change. I hate change, but I'm really excited because I can see so many things that I'm going to have to learn in this new role. And I'm so excited to learn. Like you saw in my last video in my Python diaries, I've just been really excited to learn and learning Python starting to learn Python, I'm not very good at Python. It's been a lot of fun and learning about reserving, learning about a new line of business, meeting a bunch of new people and getting to do all the new stuff again. I mean, I don't know, I'm just excited about it. And I hope you're excited for me too. It's gonna be really scary being a beginner again. So if you have any tips for me, if you know anything about social media lines insurance or reserving and just wanna give me a hug or whatever, feel free to leave a comment below, thumbs up to show your support. Um, and thank you for calling. Love you guys. Bye.